Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. You've just come off your panel for attribute-based uh, shopping and selling and pricing. Um, it's a very interesting topic for our industry today, given the direction that consumerism is going overall, not just in, in hotels. What, what would be three key takeaways that you'd like, like uh, people that are watching this video or even from the audience today, what, what would be three key takeaways you'd like them to take from your session? So I'll, I'll start with one, yeah. uh, which is the, uh, that a lot of this is being driven, as you said, by the, by the consumer behavior. Mm -hmm. And it's the consumer expectation that's ultimately driving the, the expectation that they're going to be able to have flexibility and choice in their buying experience in all things that they buy online, mm -hmm. including hotel rooms. And hotel rooms selling needs to evolve to meet that requirement. Mm -hmm. And then that's where this fails and succeeds ultimately, right? Is right at that moment of the guest interaction sort of the, the, the interface with the guest and how the guest is going to interact that and how they're going to accept this and adopt this. The automobile industry has done, I think, a tremendous job of, of attribute selling. Mm -hmm. You buy a base model car for $20,000 and you can add on as many pieces of, of extras onto that car as you like and you'll pay up to fifty or sixty or seventy thousand dollars. They seem to do that really easily. But they they succeed struggle? because you're getting value. Right. Uh, as you're adding on that element you want, you feel you're getting value. Okay. The airlines have done a bad job because you feel nickel and dime. I'm yeah. paying for that seat yeah. assignment that I would have That's got anyway, I didn't bring it up. Uh, and I don't get value out of it. Yeah, yeah. And I think hoteliers are going to be successful if they can make the consumer feel that they're getting value. Right. It's worth paying for that balcony or the sea view or the high floor or whatever to yeah. them is the personal thing they need. Yeah. The, and you're fulfilling it, they're getting value. They're not just getting something they would have got anyway. Yeah, right. yeah. But applying the principle to our industry, we seem to be challenged by that even in itself. Knowing that adding value to the consumer is what we would obviously want to achieve, but actually doing it seems to be a challenge. Well, there's an inherent complexity, right, that the, an automobile manufacturer doesn't have, which is just fulfillment. Hotel rooms are already built, right? I mean, it's, you know, whereas with, uh, with a car, or there's a, there's a good example with Nike and how they do with basketball shoes, but again, they're manufacturing those things to spec, right, to the customization. It's just, it's a big difference in the way the hotel industry has their inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the amount of distribution channels and all the partners that we have to work with and all the ecosystems that are involved in this, so it's a big movement as an industry, it's not just an individual that's taking it on. Yeah. You know, which I think it, if you tie that back to both the automobile, automobile example to where you can retool a factory to deliver discrete value for the, for the extra charge, uh, all of that comes back to understanding the consumer needs, understanding the data to be able to make that factory retooled, which I think is something that's massively important for the hotel industry to understand is that for this to be successful, the interoper interoperability of the platforms and the data itself, yeah. um, these gentlemen are advocates of that, um, you have to have that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just going to have a menagerie of parts that right. don't really work together. Yeah, it's really about understanding what the consumer wants before they even start looking. So that you, based on their per pr preferences or profile, perhaps from pre previous visits, you can then determine, or your machine learning systems can then determine what it is that they should be presented with as an agent. Yeah, and that's a huge point, because understanding what the consumer wants and really what their key drivers are is what helps with the pricing and, and so forth and the value piece of it. Yeah. But first, I want to know what you really need so I can fulfill to your expectations, because that's the biggest thing. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you.